Fruity Louise here and uh, today I'm here with Karen Ramsey Hi. <laughs> and uh, she's all about how to create healthy children so maybe you've seen her channel um, super healthy children okay <laughs> and I just find it so inspiring that you're doing this but also just thinking it must be so hard sometimes you know people have all these concerns or worries about like is it really healthy to bring your kids up on a raw vegan diet and homeschool them and not give them vaccines and just do all these things that are kind of part of this diet and lifestyle. So I just wanted to know like which kind of worrying questions do you get from people and maybe even angry comments oh, yes. do you get? Oh yes, um, throughout the years, um, because my kids are young adults now, uh, 26 and 29 years old, um, so for many years while they were growing up, I mean, we were, we did, we were part of a more health conscious homeschooling community, but, um, so they were already doing something a little different by yeah. homeschooling, um, but largely we live in an area that's very mainstream America, yeah. and um, I've had lots of comments over the years like. about how I was harming my children's health like that they were going to be brain damaged. Wow. Um, they used to call me Earth Mother because I was nursing my kids for an extended period of time. I basically weaned them when they didn't want to nurse anymore. Right, right. Um, and that is pretty much unheard of. I mean, La Leche League um, is a, an organization that promotes long-term breastfeeding, but... How did it make you feel? Yeah, I mean, it made me feel sad that people didn't understand and it made me want to research more right and the more I researched longevity and um, health and uh, veganism the more I stuck with it because it felt right right um, I also had my younger child my son had severe asthma right. and he healed through green juicing and fruits and vegetables when he was three years old so that made me stick on that path for the next, you know, they, they remained um, mostly raw for the next 10 years until they became teenagers. Uh, and so I had to get a lot of information myself yeah. in order to be able to relax when people attacked me. So and I did have plenty of information. One of the most frequent questions I got was about protein. Yeah. <laughs> and I learned that we get plenty of protein, and especially like all plant foods have protein. You are not going to be jeopardizing your children no. of protein. Spinach is 49% protein by calorie. Kale, 45%. Uh, the lettuces like romaine are 34% protein. Even a banana is 5% complete protein. <laughs> Did you ever have doubts for a second that maybe you were wrong? I never had doubts. Because when I saw his healing, yeah. um, and when I saw my children being so healthy, um, it spoke to me. Right. And I did make mistakes along the way. Right. Um, there is misinformation out there in the raw food mm -hmm. movement. Somebody told me once that fruits and vegetables are very cleansing for the teeth and that we don't have to force our children to, to brush, brush their teeth, right, right. that we don't have to practice dental hygiene. That That's gets you true. into big trouble, Yes, big, big trouble. And if you listen to this misinformation, you will be harming your family. So I know I was one of the earlier pioneers. Yes. Um, and I learned from this and I'm telling you that yes go with the food that seems the most healthy the most pure for your body it makes tremendous sense like why would you want to eat processed food and animal food which creates acidity uh -huh. in your body when you can have food that is whole and pure and fresh and goes along with the human biology and so that's what spoke to me so how did you handle the negative comments you got? What, how did you deal with it? Yeah, at a certain point, I let people express themselves. Yeah. And I just listened. If they were um, angrily attacking me, um, I might say one or two lines about why I've chosen this lifestyle. 
just really to give them some food for thought. Right. I've actually had people who attacked me. There have been several people who called me like years later and told me that some of the um, some of the things that I was telling them about veganism and, and eating raw living plant foods that it made them want to go out and learn more about it and yeah. um, a couple of people who were totally <laughs> against it and called me a fanatic yeah. are now very high in raw food. Wow. So people do have the ability to change and I sure. just think that people need to get educated mm -hmm. Um, and once they they learn the benefits of a whole food, fresh plant diet, they feel better. I know that for me, as I get older, that I feel the difference in energy. Like even, um, you know, a couple times over the winter, I had a couple bowls of steamed broccoli. Right. And even that makes me lose my energy. Right, right. So for me, I stay fully raw because it helps me with my energy level. Well. Right. And so I think that people also saw my children. Yeah. And my children were an example. I didn't need to say anything because other people wanted my ch their children <laughs> to, look to be like my children. Okay. <laughs> so that was, yeah. that was so a good reason. So if somebody said, oh, your, your children will get brain damage if they don't eat eggs, for example, what would you say? <laughs> I would say, well, I would first of all tell them to check out some of um, English author Tony Wright's work. Okay. Um, he has talked a lot about the benefits of fruit for brain development. Right. And um, he especially looks at autism uh -huh. and how you know many of these children are not eating fruit, and we need to get fruit and veggies back into our children's diets so that they can develop their brains. So right. I believe my children got everything they needed from the fruits and the vegetables. That's not saying that nobody should ever use supplementation. I have seen people, and especially right. children with autism with low B12, right. things like that. So we do need to look at the whole person and how the person is functioning. Uh -huh. But at large, I think that a diet of, of mostly or all fresh living fruits and vegetables is key to a healthy diet. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Yes, yes. it's great to see you here in Thailand. <laughs> thank you. It's <laughs> great to meet you here. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hvis du gerne vil vide mere om, hvordan man helbreder sig selv naturligt, så gå over på min hjemmeside Rask på Raw. Her kan du tilmelde dig mit gratis videocrash-kursus, og så lærer jeg dig meget mere om principperne og kosten, så du selv kan komme i gang. Og forresten, husk at abonnere på mig på YouTube, hvis du gerne vil se flere gode videoer.